Hey, and welcome back to Study First Aid with me. This is video number four, where we go over the testicular non-germ cell tumors. Now, these tumors are pretty high yield asked on the exam, so it's important to know which ones are malignant and most importantly, the histology. So we're gonna focus on what they look like and what they secrete, and that'll help you pick the right answer choice. So let's start with our Leydig cell tumor, then we'll go on to Sertoli cell tumor, and then our testicular lymphoma. Now, these tumors account for 5% of overall testicular tumors, 10% is malignant, and 5% is benign. And these are your non-germ cell tumors. So the first one is our Leydig cell tumor. So Leydig cells are found adjacent or next to the seminiferous tubules and the testicles. They secrete testosterone, and we know that that comes from our LH, luteinizing hormone, but in this case, it can also secrete estrogen. So the Leydig cells will secrete estrogen and testosterone. So gross morphology, it's a golden brown yellow color mass, and it will usually be on one or both of the testicles. So on histology, we're gonna see something called a Ranke crystal. Ranke crystals are pale staining rod shaped crystals that have a eosinophilic or red color inclusions. So if we look at the image, we can see that the Sertoli cells are more like tubules and the Ranke crystals in the image to the right of that have that red rod-like inclusion. Now, what are the signs and symptoms and treatment of a Leydig cell tumor? Well, since the tumor, like I said, secretes testosterone and estrogen, we're gonna get precocious puberty in boys from the excess in testosterone and gynecomastia from the estrogen in men. So precocious puberty in young adolescents and gynecomastia in elderly males. Surgery is done to remove the testicles, this is orchiectomy. Nearby lymph nodes may also be in removed, so that's lymph adenectomy. And chemotherapy, of course, may be used to treat this tumor. So surgery and remove the nearby lymph nodes. It secretes testosterone and estrogen, causing precocious puberty and gynecomastia. So the next one is our Sertoli cell tumor. So Sertoli cells, they secrete inhibin, and we know that inhibin inhibits FSH. So the Sertoli cells secrete inhibin, and inhibin inhibits FSH. So on gross morphology, we're gonna see a gray, white, to yellow mass. So it's gonna look yellow and lobulated, as we can see in the figure to the right. On histology, we're gonna see cord-like structures that again will resemble the seminiferous tubules. So looking at the image below the histology, we see these cords that resemble the seminiferous tubules. Now, what are the signs and symptoms? Well, a Sertoli cell tumor is usually unilateral. Small amounts of estrogen or androgens can be produced but not enough is going to be produced to actually cause any clinical symptoms. So as you can see, this might be a bit asymptomatic. So again, it produces testosterone and estrogen, just like our Leydig cell tumor, but Leydig causes clinical symptoms where Sertoli cell tumor does not. And then our last and final is our testicular lymphoma. Testicular lymphoma is commonly seen in elderly men greater than 50 years old. This will never be a primary cancer because it is a lymphoma. So it will arise from metastatic lymphomas that can disseminate into the testes. And an example here is our diffuse large B cell lymphoma, which is a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So this is a very aggressive tumor that has a high incidence of spreading to the CNS. So if we look at this image on the right, we see the seminiferous tubules, and then we can see our lymphoma cells in the interstitium. So remember, this is always due to a metastasis from another location. 
With that being said, the treatment will be very similar to how we treat our non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So the mnemonic here is CHOPPER, C for cyclophosphamide, H for hydroxydonorubucin, also doxyrubucin, O is our oncovorin, but we call it vincristine, P for prednisone, which is our steroid, and R because we have to add rituximab, which is our monoclonal antibody. So Reinke crystals are seen with late exit cell tumors. Two of these secrete estrogen and testosterone. That's our late cell tumor and Sertoli cell tumor. And one of these come from metastasis from another location, and that's testicular lymphoma.